Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 628 of Love Mystery. For this episode, we're going to look at Armani, the Columbus Blue Jackets, I Am Weasel, Viacom CBS, and Studio Ghibli. Let's start with Armani. Here's a short by those of you who don't know what Armani is, or Giorgio Armani. It is an Italian luxury fashion and leisure industry founded in 1975 by Giorgio Armani and Sergio Galliotti. Their headquarters are in Milan, Italy. Its key person is Giorgio Armani and Cristiano Armani. It's, it's more like key people. So yeah, I made a typo in there, but that's beside the point. As of 2019, they have 7,309 employees, and their website is Armani.com. So let's take a look. Ooh! Wait, hold on. Ooh! Look at them! Look at them purses! They look stylish. Giorgio Armani discovered the collection for her or for him. I don't know. This would definitely be for women. Those don't look like the purses. You know, those don't look like the bags for men. They look. They look like the purses for women. I swear to God. Keep on being stylish, man and woman. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, wow, look at them watches. They look so amazing. You should go get Armani. You really should. And now without further ado, let's get started. Uh, 1975 to the present. Uh, we just have like... Um, we probably just have one right side up G next to a next to an upside down G. Um because like it kind of like the other G, you know, the upside down one kind of makes an A a little bit. Like I can see that right there. Let me know in the comments if you see that. And this is the word mark, and this is their Emporio Armani, you know, Emporio Armani variant. Now we move on to the Columbus Blue Jackets, and I forgot to tell you this in the, at the beginning of the video, but this is the last ever logo history video with an NHL logo on it. Aww, how sad. But, however, if any, like, if any NHL team changed their logo, let me know in the comments and I'll do a remastered version of that specific logo. But for now, I should have already completed all 31 NHL logos. So yeah, after this, there will be no more NHL logos in this series. Unless if the logo, if any team changed the logo. Then I'll do a remastered version, and then maybe come back to it. But again, I should really have all 31 NHL logos down. Here's a short bio so you don't know who the Columbus Blue Jackets are. They are an American professional hockey team that plays for the NHL. They also play for the Metropolitan Division in the Eastern Conference. It was founded in 2000. Their home arena is the Nationwide Arena. Nationwide is on your side! It is owned by John P. McConnell. Their general manager is Jomo Kekalenani. Wait, what's that word? Kekalenani. Kekalenani. Okay. Their head coach is John Tortorella. Their captain is Nick Foligno, and so far they- What? 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 They don't want any of that new shit! No Stanley Cups, no Columbus Championships, no American the Trophies, and no division championships? They want none of that good shit? Excuse my language though, but oh my god! What? Oh my goodness! They must be the literal worst team like in the NHL, no offense to any people who are fans of, of this team, but it, it's just in my opinion, just by looking at the statistics. I mean, what? Come on! <laughs> and I don't, I don't mean to laugh. It's just a chuckle. Uh, their official website is www.nhl.com/bluejackets. So let's take a look. Of course the Blue Jackets was beat by the Penguins. Of course. Wow, they got some interesting news. Of course they got the All-Star fan vote. Last time I'm showing that. Sp again, sponsored by Adidas. If it's Blue Jackets, it's here. 
on the app. Oh, they got some good food. <laughs> like, like, good Ohioan food right there. Blue Jackets have planned to handle life without Wierenski. Okay, interesting. Oh, they're, they're, contributing, they're contributing this to cancer. They might not be very good as a team, but they're really good at like like they like they they may be bad at playing hockey because they haven't won anything. But they're what they're best in is you know contributing to the ones who are dying from cancer. That's the best thing. Um, a day in the life in the nationwide arena ice. Wow, that looks really good. And CBJ to take part in the 2020 NHL Global Series in Helsinki, Finland. Against the Colorado Avalanche. Wow. Um, let me scroll through this website. And now without further ado, let's get started. 2000 to 2007. I believe we have like... I don't know, what's this? An O? Like, I don't know what letter that is. But I know there's like a B. I think there's like an O or a C. But 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 that's beside the point. Both letters are like red with white stars on it, and also has white outline and blue outline as well. Um, and then separating these two letters is a wand um, because it has that star on it. And and I and the wand, the so-called wand, is a hockey stick. Uh, it, it's it's not a wand. It's a hockey stick with a star on it. Um, and all this is inside this blue shape with silver outline. And these are four other versions. Um, and I and as you can see, their mascot is um, their mascot is um, a bug, like a like a stinger, like a, like a, like a jacket. Um, and yeah. I was I was kind of right the first or second time um, that the first letter in that logo was a C. Uh, 2003 to the present, uh, we just have the Ohio flag that is backwards. Um, it has that little swoosh on it, and it's inside this blue shape with silver outline. And then we have a white star with blue outline and also has silver outline as well. Um, and it's right, you know, right curled up in that Ohioan flag. And this is an al and this is an alternative version. Next, we'll move on to I Am Weasel. Here's a short bio so you don't know what I Am Weasel is. It was an American animated television series that first aired on July 22nd, 1997. The show ended in January 2000. It was created by David Feast. It was written by David Feast. Jim Jim Gomez, Maxwell Adams, Michael Ryan, Nora Johnson, Richard Purcell, Sally R. Lower, and Steve Marmel. It was directed by David Feast, Robin Steele only for 12 episodes, and Robert Alvarez for only one episode. It was voiced by Michael Dorn and Charlie Adler. Their opening theme was I Am Weasel, performed by April March and composed by Bill Fulton for the melody and Richard Purcell for the lyrics. The music composer was Bill Fulton, and throughout its two years of airing, they have aired five seasons and 79 episodes. On uh, their websites, um, uh, for their first website, uh, we have web.archive.org slash web slash these numbers slash cartoon network.com slash doc slash I'm underscore weasel slash index HTML. Let's have a look at this. The extreme intelligence of I Am Weasel is a dramatically offset by the extreme stupidity of I R Baboon. The two are born to compete, and compete they do in every profession imaginable, from astronaut to bridge builder to bit by these. My God, uh, let me read that again. From astronaut to build bridge builder to bathy sphere operator, um, Baboon's jealous rages contrast nicely with Weasel's cool-headed conniving in this frantically animated show. I Am Weasel was created by cartoonist David Feast, or Face, whatever you want to call it. It originated as a backup cartoon during the Cow and Chicken series, which premiered on Cartoon Network in 1997. Hmm, maybe I should go to Cow and Chicken soon. Let me know in the comments. And they have their second website, web.archive.org slash web slash these numbers slash david dash feast feast dash netfirms.com. So let's have a look. Interesting. 
interesting. I might as well just scroll to this website because it's five logos today. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1997 to 2000. This was the only logo for the series. Uh, we just have the words "I am Weasel" in red text, you know, on a black outline and black drop shadow. That's all there is. Next, we will, oh my God. Next, we will move on to Viacom CBS. Uh, I didn't find any information for this one, so, or at least I forgot to put information for Viacom CBS. But that's beside the point. Let's get started, folks. In 2019 to the present, we just have the word Viacom in blue text, and next to that, we have the letters CBS in light blue text. And finally, we will move on to my to one of my favorite you know animation studios which is studio ghibli here's a short by so you don't know what studio ghibli is it is a it is a japanese animation industry founded on june 15th 1985 by hayao hayao Mi, Me, my god it is a japanese animation industry founded on june 15th 1985 by hayao hayao miyazaki toshio suzuki aizayo takahata and yasuyoshi tokoma or Tokuma. Seriously, I, I feel like I don't speak English. Uh, they are famous for their mascot, Totoro, from the movie My Neighbor Totoro, in which I'll show you in a minute. Their headquarters are in Kogunai, Tokyo, Japan. Its key people are Koji Hoshino, chairman, Kiyofumi Nakajima, president, Hayao Miyazaki, director, and Toshio Suzuki, executive director. And as of 2016, they have 150 employees. And the website is www.ghibli.jp. So let's take a look. Let me translate this. So yeah, if you don't know who this big fella is, that's Totoro from My Neighbor Totoro. Uh, I already saw the tr like I haven't watched the full movie, but I saw like the trailer of this movie. And only like a few scenes in this movie, and I already love it. The, this character's cute, and I'm, I'm glad it was their mascot. It went, and My Neighbor Totoro was probably their mo probably their most successful film, just in my opinion. Um, so yeah, their character is cute. Totoro. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1985 to 1991. We probably have, you know, I'm guessing that's Totoro before, you know. This logo, which I'll get to in the next slide. Um, uh, we have, like, the character Totoro, or at least one of the characters in my neighbor Totoro, inside this rounded black square. And next to that, we have the word Studio Ghibli in black text with white outline. 1991 to 2016. It's, it's more like 1991 to the present because Studio Ghibli's still alive. So, yeah... Just just ignore that 2016 part. Studio Ghibli is still alive, I think. Uh, ignore that 2016 part. So 1991 to the present, not to, to, not to 2016. Uh, we have um, Totoro himself. And next to that, we have some Japanese text. And below that Japanese text, we have the word Studio Ghibli in, in black text. And these are six other versions. Alright, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Love of History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 629, Futurama. Bye for now.